So, um, tell me, uh, you have uh, here a part of your band, uh, Rajasthan Express, around you, and um, what I find fascinating is these are musicians from different backgrounds, different musical backgrounds. Can you introduce the musicians to us and, and say uh, what is their background? Okay. So, uh, this one on the left we have uh, Zakir Ali Kawal from Ajmer. So, Zakir is, uh, is coming actually within, within the group, um, which I'll tell maybe later if anybody will have questions about the background and everything of, of the whole group. But in general it's called the Rajasthan Express, we, we named it, and we have different people. People think about uh, Indian music as many times when, when I meet people they think of it as a one thing, not realizing sometimes that India is a very, very big place with a lot of musical traditions. A little bit like saying Western music. There's so many types of music, uh, and within India there are also a lot of uh, regional musics in different places that are also very diverse. So within Rajasthan, in uh, there are different musical traditions, and in this group, so we have I started to say Zakir Ali is coming from a tradition of Sufi uh, kawals. Um, in India, there is the biggest center for Sufis in Southeast Asia. It is in Ajmer. And in that city of Ajmer, there is a shrine of a Sufi saint by the name Khwaja Muinuddin Hassan Chishti, who has arrived to India uh, around 800 years ago. And around his shrine started the Chishti Silsila, the tradition of the, Chish the Sufi tradition of the, Sufi, the Chishti order which has a lot of rituals and spiritual worship that is expressed and is using a certain kind of music, a devotional music that is called Kawali. So uh, Z Zakir Ali uh, family is coming from this lineage of ceremonial musicians that they actually sing in the Dargah and the different ceremonies of the Chishtis, uh, Sufis. Um, now to the left, uh, from, uh, from yeah, from the single is left. Natu Lal Solanki. And Natu G is uh, is playing this instrument called Nagara. Now uh, Nagara is also is a is a very old instrument in India. It actually arrived with. The Mughal, I think, it arrived with the Mughal, uh, the Mughal period, which uh, to India from Persia, but around 500 years ago or so. But it is very much used today in the Hindu temples as a <coughs> temple, a drum of the temple. So Natu uh, is coming from a city is called Pushkar. Pushkar is one of the holiest pilgrimage places for Hindus. Uh, there are many, whoever knows about Hinduism, there is many temples for many gods in Hinduism. But for the Brahma, which is one of the main three, uh, three important gods within Hinduism, there is one single temple throughout the whole world, and that is in Pushkar. And Natuji is coming from Pushkar, and his family has been playing this drum within the temple of the Brahma Mandir, the Brahma temple, for the last 400 years. Um, so... That is a different kind of tradition than that Sufi music that I was referring of Zakir Ali. Now near Natuji we have uh, our very dear friend Amir Biani. See, music is a very periodically uh, 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 thing. Besides, besides just being an art, it, it contains a lot of uh, history as well as the culture. So if you see the instrument that Amir is playing, everybody knows here what it is, it's a trumpet. But uh, the, the brass, and Amir has his whole family as a brass musicians. So the brass has come to India with the British rule. And it's used in different sort of parades. Uh, it came with the, the British army and it's still being used today in different sort of parades and weddings, and ceremonies, different uh, things, usually people play, they walk in the streets. Uh, although, even though the, the instrument is Western, the whole traditional approach, the, the music 
uh, approach to it is traditional uh, Hindustani, which means like an Indian, uh, it's being played uh, Indian melodies and Indian scales, rags, on the trumpet. So Amir is a great master of trumpet. And at the same time, his style is completely different than anything that you might hear in the West. Uh, maybe in the next uh, song, he'll also we will play something that the trumpet is a little more visible. And then tonight, whoever is coming, we, we have a lot of, of that. So that is uh, Amir Biani from Sardar Sher. <laughs> and to my right, which is a very, very interesting uh, Another completely different tradition is Chuga Khan Manganyar. <laughs> now the Manganyars are basically one of the gypsy uh, tribes. Uh, there are few tribes of gypsies in Rajasthan. People say that the source of gypsies actually come from Rajasthan. So the Manganyars are actually the Muslims. Uh, gypsies, but that used to play for the Hindu Maharajas, we have the, the royals, the royals, Rajasthan is actually a state of the royals, Raja means uh, royal, uh, like king and stan is a state, so it's still the tradition of the, 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 the novels and the royals and the Maharajas are still there to this day, and uh, the community of Chuga, the Mangana, they are for hundreds of years, they are being playing for the patrons, for the uh, Rajputs, the, uh, and they have different musical tradition also that sounds very different. Uh, he, now he didn't play, maybe after he can demonstrate, he is very, very, one of the typical instruments that we know of them is the Kertal, which is a kind of a castanet. Now he played as one string instrument that is called Bhapam, and the Chuga is playing also another kind of a Joe harp that is a uh, Morchan. But besides the instrument, the whole musical tradition and some of their compositions, the whole way the, the melody is evolving within their traditional music is very different than the Kawali or the other type of Rajasthani music as well. So I presented the people. Yeah, Is it is it uh, is it regular that people uh, from such different backgrounds play together in India? Uh, it's not uh, that common uh, until these days. No, I mean this is usually, uh, and I can even say that when we started in, in the project, we were hosted by the Maharaja of Jodhpur when yeah. we recorded the album. We recorded it in Jodhpur Fort, and he was very touched with the effect that suddenly he see for the first time was for him to see the brass playing with the kawali, playing with the manganyar, playing mm. with the nagara. It is, uh, they all live in neighboring places, but usually uh, each one plays traditionally way, uh, their own music in their own communities. Uh, I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Nato Lao Solanki, what did you think when uh, Shai said, okay, we're going to make this band with Sufi musicians, folk musicians? We are lucky to meet Shai, and this is like to get that like Hindu, Muslim, everything we are together. This is like say music is a universal language. This is the person make to all people together make the good music and good uh, blessing for the world. Uh, did you have to change your your style of playing? Did you have to change your technique? Yeah. Yes, before you say. This is a mostly play the people when they are fighting, they use the excited the soldier, then they using, and this is the play like this. And sometimes they play in the temple. And now I play my style in the especially like you can feel like the camel. Shai, I, I think we can talk for hours with you, but uh, we have to move on. Uh, so another time you have to tell us, um, okay, I'm going to ask you, can you tell me maybe in two sentences, what made you fall in love with India? 
I don't know. Uh, it is not a, you. You answered actually within the question. Is, yeah. is just fall in love. You know, what I mean, uh, the music and the inspiration. Sometimes you fall in love. You try to love something and you cannot, and sometimes you don't want to love something and you just fall in love. So this just happiness, grace. Okay. Thank you so much, Sai.